if you push the two buttons forward, maybe backward. Oh, whoa, technical difficulties. All right, yes. What's up, guys? It's your girl Mila B, and welcome back to another video. We are talking things business, merchandise, label printers. I am telling you guys what label printer I use, the type of labels I use, why I like it, why it's best for me, and why it makes my job easier. So without further ado, let's go and get into it. So, label printers. I watched countless YouTubers talk about the different label printers they've used. I've seen very, very cheap ones. I've seen very, very expensive ones. So I'm going to talk to you about the label printer that I chose that works for me, why I like it, all those good things. So I chose the brand Polano. It's P-O-L-O-N-O. -O I like this one because it's purple. You see, I still have the little plastic film on it. And it was very, very simple. Yes, this way. It opens up for you, and that is where you're going to insert your labels. Right there. And you're going to close it. And the light at the top, right here, that's going to tell you if the paper was loaded in correctly. So it will turn green, letting you know it's ready. Or it will turn red, letting you know that something has happened. And it came with two cords. It came with this gray cord. This is the cord that you will put this one inside of your computer and this one will go inside of the printer itself. And then it also came with another cord which is the power cord. And if I can pull it out. This side will go into the printer and then of course you will plug it in like anything else that you're used to. And then of course on the back is the power button right there above it is the power button so that is the Polano printer I like this printer because it does print off these type of labels I am a fan of these labels I love them I got these labels from Amazon I got both the labor maker and the labels from Amazon it's Rollo labels R-O-L-L-O -L -L -O, labels and the size is four by six is the stack of labels 500 it will last me quite a bit <laughs> and one of the things I do like about this label printer is that it did come with a tray the tray is very easy to set up and you set the labels in it behind it as it feeds through and the tray will hold it up and you can print your labels going through them so I don't have the tray set up for the simple fact that the tray just takes up extra space and I don't have a lot of space in my apartment, especially where I'm putting my label printer at. There's not enough space for the tray, so I just keep the tray up in the box. But whenever I do have that space and I'm able to leave this connected into this, I will definitely utilize the tray. Installation for the label printer. Installation was super, super simple. To be quite honest, the label printer itself is very, very simple. They literally give you one paper that's folded into threes, telling you about a paper jam, about the label printer, and that's really it, how to assemble the tray. And then they give you this small little piece. Let me show you the piece. Ooh. All right, they give you... Here we go. So yes, these are the instructions that they give you. Oh, actually these are some labels I lied. But they give you this small little piece right here. And it says the label printer label, the label printer brand on it. And you're going to stick it into your computer and that's how you install the software needed for this label printer. Now, when I first downloaded the software, I'm not going to lie to you, I was a little skeptical because when I went to the website, because I couldn't figure out why the printer wasn't working, not realizing I needed the software, but on the website, it is saying that it is not compatible for certain MacBooks and the certain software they use, but the brand has fixed that problem, and that's what the message was telling you when you first go to the website that they have fixed the problem they have corrected the problem so no worries there but once you download the software into your computer and you click print for a label the printer should pop right on up you do have to remember to customize the paper size on your macbook make sure you put in four 
by six because that is the size of the labels on your MacBook because if you don't, then your labels are print off a little bit on the space, on the, on the space here, I'll show you. If this is your label, then the label will print off maybe this part of the label or maybe just the bottom part. It's not going to be the full label on the paper. So make sure you put four by six and then you have to click the printer, all right? And of course, whatever shop you're going through, you print the label per usual and then it will print out a stream of all your labels straight through. So this label printer is pretty easy. It was very cost efficient. I got it on Amazon along with the labels. It will all be in the description box below. So go check it out. And this one's super cute. It's purple. It's colored. You can't go wrong with it. It's, it's just beautiful. It's beautiful. I love my label printer. So yes, that is a necessity in my opinion. And that is I'm going to follow suit like all the other YouTubers do. And I'm going to say the label printer is a necessity. It's going to save you so much money, so much time, so much effort. Because you do not have to go anywhere for your labels. Get you one. Get you one. Get you one. And yeah, with that being said, if you guys are to do, like, share, comment, do not forget to subscribe. And I'm going to get you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.